What's good, sneakerheads? Back here with a really, really special one. Um, when I saw these, I had to cop them. I I ended up paying a little bit more than I would have liked for them, but I had to get them. The idea behind them was amazing. The collaboration was amazing. Everything about them was just amazing. And they dropped two different ones, and I'll talk more about it when I get it open. So, um, yeah, to keep up with everything, the crazy unboxings and stuff, today, I'm going to use me a pizza cutter. <clears throat> Let's hope I don't damage anything. Should be fairly easy. I'm sick of, like, having to beat into it. You know what I'm saying? So... Okay, this is probably going to be harder than I thought. I don't want to like cut myself or anything. There we go. Finally in. It's got that weird tape with like the um, cloth in it. That's the reason why I wanted to use something sharp. Because I know it's going to take a minute. There we go. There we go. Bet y'all just waiting for me to like cut something off. That'd make a great video, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm done with that. There we go. Alright. Piece of cardboard. Get that out of here. And dun dun dun. dun. This is, look at that box. Look at that box. That box is amazing. This is how all shoes should come. Well, at least the ones that you spend a pretty good, you know, pretty penny for. So, as you can tell, Kith, number 33, Pippin. Scotty Pippin. Kith again. Nike. And then, you know, a little barcode and everything. These have like a little magnet on them. Kith Nike. Like, I'm, I'm so loving this. Now, uh, you know, leave a comment if you think, like, guessing which ones uh, I got. You know, I'll give you a second to do that. There's two. And you should know by the box. There's a black one. There's one that looks like this. Going by who I am, what do you think I got? I'm not a, you know, crazy. So, I got the black ones. Yes, I did. These, this paper is destroyed. These are the Kith Nike um, Air Pippin 1 uh, Black Ponies. Uh, it's got like a fox pony hair. At least I hope it is. Um, I don't really want real pony hair on my shoe. It'd be kind of cool, I guess. But um, really, it, it, it feels crazy. Like, it feels like one of those dogs that has like really, really coarse black, like short hair. You know, like kind of rough feeling. That's kind of what it feels like. Pretty much like, you know, a pony, <laughs> I guess. It feels like, you know, coarse pony hair. Um, and it all goes in different directions. Like, this goes down. This goes, like, back. It's shorter back here, longer, where the swooshes are. I, that's the reason why I had to get this. When I saw that there's a shoe made out of hair, I had to cop it. Especially one with this design. Like... You can't go wrong with this. This design is amazing. It has every, even the tongue. The tongue has hair on it. Look at that. It's so nice. But um, yeah, I had to cop these. They released the uh, All Blacks, which is what I have. Um, and it's got that red airbag down there at the bottom. Like you can't go wrong with that. That's, it just sets it perfectly. I love these. Um, I wonder if it'll smell like wet dog if it rains and you get them wet. Maybe. I don't know. I hope not. You walk in and your feet really be stinking. Um, 
the other one that they released was called the uh, Chimera, I believe is what it's called. Um, it's got the same fox or real <laughs> pony hair um, all over it. And kind of looks like this one had a cow lick like sticking up right here. Need to get some hair gel on it. <laughs> That's how you fix it. That's how you style these shoes. You don't put crap on them. You put hair gel on them. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So the, uh, the Chimera had the pony hair all over it too. Um, but it had a mix of, you know, I, here's a picture. Uh, it had a mix of the zebra, uh, lion, tiger, and leopard print. Um, and it set on a traditional sole with a translucent airbag. So nothing crazy, you know, like this, but, um, I just couldn't, I, I couldn't do it. I, I just couldn't do it. That's not me. You know, I don't really, I can't really picture anybody wearing those unless you're like a pimp or something like just doesn't seem like something that anybody would really wear besides pimps. Or people that wear, like, you know, the zebra or leopard, you know, go to the beach wearing, like, a leopard Speedo with a pair of those on. <laughs> That's the only way I can see those working. But, I mean, they look cool. I just can't. I wouldn't be able to pull them off. These, on the other hand, definitely, definitely can pull them off. Um, they are, you know, the they're a rendition of the, you know, Air Pippin ones. Um, they... The Pippin one originally released back in, I want to say, like, 96, 97-ish. Um, they had some good colorways on it. I think they've even released a few colorways this year, if I'm not mistaken. But this one, I'm so glad that they released this. Um, right alongside this one, too, they also released a uh, um, Nike Kith Maestro 2 High... Um, in a purple, like an all purple and an all red colorway, but I can't really get down with that. That's like, it's it's real skinny, high top. I'm can't really do that. The closest I can get to that is like a Jordan One. Uh, I need something that's kind of beefy, and this reminds me of like the up tempo with the you know the girthiness of it per se. It just you know the the base, the top of the shoe, like the meatiness of it reminds me of the, uh, you know, up tempo. So I just had to jump on that. Um, these, I had to get an 11 and a half. Uh, he didn't have a 12, unfortunately. Um, but I've noticed that in the up tempos, like I can wear an 11 and a half. I, I don't, they're not really true to size. And I'm sure that, you know, any of y'all would, uh, you know, attest to that, that up tempos are kind of, you know, big, I guess. Like, I've tried a 12 on, they fit. I've tried an 11 and a half on. The, the, eight, the size gap's not really that big on up tempos. That's the reason why I like these. So, I went ahead and did it without trying them on. You know, I got them online. And before I get too far on this, you know, I got kind of excited with these. Um, I have to give a much needed shout out to Dan the Shoe Man. That's his Instagram. I'll put up his uh, eBay account, uh, Instagram. I'm going to link everything down in the bio. So make sure to go check him out. He's the one I got these from. Uh, you know, very good price um, compared to what they were going for at the time. I think they're going for, you know, a little bit cheaper now. But I'm not going to complain. I was able to get them in a timely manner. Dude's extremely honest. He don't mess with fakes. Um, I've talked to him a little bit. Guy's real cool. So, you know, I, by the stroke of luck, met him um, through eBay. And then, you know, we've talked through Instagram and whatnot. So make sure to check him out. He's real cool. He'll help you all out. Um, and he only deals in real. So, and I really like that. Now, back to these. Um, the great thing about these, besides the fact that... They come with another pair of laces, which I think this is kind of crazy too. Whenever you buy a collab shoe, they always come with, you know, the fake Jordan 1 bag, the bag with like the red line across the top of it. But that threw me off when I was looking at some of the pictures of these before I bought them, not from him, but from a few other people that actually showed that bag. I was like, is that real? But yeah, I mean, 
if you ever get a bag like that, you know it's real because it's got the Nike print on it. No Nike print, fuego. But I took that out for a reason. Um, if you look down in here, I'm going to show pictures of it because it's black. You're not going to be able to see it in there. It's got the Kith logo down in there. But this interior right here is made with some of the butteriest leather I've felt on anything short of... I mean, honestly, the shattered backboards weren't even this buttery. Like, and I've had a pair, believe me. Like, they, they were good, but the butter on the inside of this shoe, and it goes all the way down. Like, the whole heel is just buttery leather. I'll put some pictures up so you can see what I'm talking about in some good light. But even the back of the tongue, like, all of that just super buttery leather it's just so smooth and I'm like that'll just make this that much more comfortable even the outs you know the outside feels coarse the inside butta 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 and it goes all the way down like once it breaks it hits into like a uh, suede kind of feel almost like you're going to be wearing like some you know house slippers or something like I cannot wait to wear these and um, I mean, I, I'm just loving the design of it. You know, it's got the logo on the back, the uh, Kith logo right here. It's also got it on the tongue right there. I just love that brand. You know, I mean, Kith's been around for a minute. I mean, their main store is in um, New York. It's uh, off of Lafayette Street. I've been there one time. And, um, you know, that was back in the day. I didn't really know anything about anything. Um, I mean, it really wasn't that long ago. But, you know, that was before I really got into the collaboration kind of things. I didn't really know that much about it. It's They sell a lot of hype gear. These shoes, like, the guy that did it, his name, the guy that owns the shop, his name's Ronnie Fag, I believe. Fag can't pronounce his last name and I'm really sorry if I butchered that it's um f-i-e-g I believe he's super famous um but yeah he owns Kith and he's done a lot of collaborations like a lot of designs for shoes and they're killing it each and every time he knows what he's doing and I mean, he owns a store, he did this, and the reason why he did it the way he did it, especially with um, the Chimera one, is kind of like, it's to show Pippin's like, animal-like tendencies while he's on the court. Um, and even though this one's straight black, it's still made of, you know, pony hair. So, animal, just like it. But um, that Kiss store opened up November 11th, 2011. I was there around 2012. Um, you know, they sell a lot of, you know, like I said, hype beast stuff. It was definitely a good place. If you're ever in New York, check it out. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing more that I can really say about these that I haven't already said. Um, I'm definitely going to put them on, show you some on feet, show you some nice photos at the end of this, so make sure to check that out. I got another video coming on my babies. They finally came in the mail. My babies. My babies. Uh, so I actually got them both today, the day I'm filming the video for these. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get these two videos up pretty quick. You'll be able to see what I'm talking about on that next one. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, what do you all think about this shoe? I fell in love with it when I first saw it. What do you think about that other one? That other one looks good, but yeah, do you guys agree with me? It's not. Uh, I don't really think that anybody can pull that off. But yeah, um, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, smash that like button. Uh, we're starting to climb up pretty good. I still thank you guys for you know subscribing all my old school subscribers, which aren't even that old school. I've only been around for like four or five months, but yeah. Um, you were climbing and I really appreciate it so uh, make sure to follow me on social media links are down in the description um, yeah I hope you all have a good one I'll catch you on the next video peace